Hey guys, so we're going to go and visit Tim Staub from Staub Family Farms. Ugh. And he is going to start planting today because it's been a very strange start to the spring here because it's either been snowing or rainy and this is literally the first day that we have available you to plant. To me? No, I'm talking to the camera. Mm. <laughs> and <laughs> And so he took the day off of work to get his planting in today. So we're gonna go check out to see what he's up to. If you remember the Staubs, they were one of the first ones to join Cockadoodle as farmers last year. And so they list their produce on Cockadoodle for sale. And they were our guinea pigs before anything was really ready and they were awesome to work with us to kind of work out some of the kinks um, for this year when we'll hopefully bring several other farmers on board. Um, so anyways, let's go check out and see what Tim's up to. We're gonna have to take the mini because Mary Kate's out doing deliveries right now. So we've really got to trade this thing in for a truck soon. This isn't gonna work. Do you want a coat? No. Uh, this is a little bit of Dropping off the excess. So then one of these guys will basically grow one stalk. Yep. One and ear. Every stalk has two ears one. on it? One ear? Usually one viable ear, and then sometimes you get a second that's a little smaller. This is BT corn. Okay. Okay. Not many of the people around here that are selling it on the roadside are spending the money on it. This costs about two times as much for the seed. And why do you spend so much for it? Because I don't have to spray it. Ah, okay, okay. I save time, I save money, and well, when I'm doing this part time, it makes a difference. Yeah. So, the other is what's called conventional corn is why you uh, go through the process of making sure that you don't lose any yes. <laughs> single seed. Well, I mean, I don't mind one or two, but like, like 50, you know. Yeah, take that seed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last year, one of the local folks, bad earworm problem. And then you got your people that aren't real thrilled with that. Yeah. So if I deliver a product full of earworm, right. who's going to come back and buy corn from me? Right. So we can give you like the whole setup, how this thing works. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You know. So seat goes down in that hole. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it comes out the bottom here. And as the wheels turn. Okay, okay. that's cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now from there, it drops down into this tube here. Okay, which goes right between the press wheels. Yep. Which is between the opening discs, which okay. is actually what's cutting your trench. Okay. So it's opening the trench, mm -hmm. dropping a single seed every eight inches down that tube, and then in the back here are your closing wheels. And that's closing your trench back over, and the chain drags a little dirt, levels it out. So if you look right inside of there, sort of see the 
trench that gets created by those opening discs. And then this comes in behind and closes. Nice. That's cool. Who thought of that? Oh, I have no idea. A farmer is much smarter than I. <laughs> awesome. So now it's just a matter of putting seed in there and starting to drive, huh? That's it. I could be a farmer. Absolutely, anybody can. <laughs> It's all down in the hole there. education on how to plant sweet corn today, but there you have it. That was Tim. Like I said, he was one of the guys that were on Cockadoodle last year. Um, they're gonna list their produce and eventually sweet corn, pumpkins, all that good stuff. So eventually, once it comes in season, the Staubs are gonna list their produce on Cockadoodle again. So be on a lookout for that. But I appreciate you guys watching today. Make sure to subscribe and we gotta get out of here because the rain is coming. Hope Tim finishes up.